It's the second part of my video about this, the Orange SPV, and I've actually got it started. Look, check it out. We've put, I found, I'll just show you this because uh, it's quite interesting for those of you who maybe have had a more modern phone. I have found an old orange SIM card uh, that was stuffed away in a little uh, box in one of my cupboards. Uh, obviously, uh, although it would still work if there was any... Um, some data on here or any package set up um it's it's not going to work right now because there's no data or no package but anyway here is my orange spv i'm going to power it up this is from back in the day it's a rather wet um afternoon so sorry for the quality see the green backlight there check that out the green backlight on the keys you remember that anyone that is retro so we're booting up and you're ready for the boot sound. You ready? I'm going to build it up. You ready? You ready? Any minute now. It's going to deafen you. You ready? Oh, yeah. So we're booting up. Now, because it's only got a, what's it, 132 megahertz CPU, it does take a little time to boot up and pull its trousers up. It takes a bit of time. So if you press programs immediately, it can lag a little bit. But hey, look at the interface. Oh, and the, the backlight kind of comes on and off when it feels like it. Now, I have not played with this for quite some time, and I immediately tried to connect it to Wi-Fi. I forgot that it won't do that because it didn't do Wi-Fi. Uh, and then I thought, oh, connect it to 4G. No, there's no 4G. There is no 3G. This is how you used to connect. Look, data connections. And it's still got all my setup. Look, GPRS. Oh my gosh, you're going to GPRS. There's a pass-through connection, so you could use your uh, PC's internet connection uh, if you wanted to use that instead. So you can go into automatic, or you can set that. Oh dear, so it it's, it's kicks me out of there because it was still sort of booting up. Let's go back into data connections, uh, GPRS, look at that, done. And uh, we can go menu, and we can edit the connections. Let's have a look at the dial-up VPN. See, it did VPN even back in 2002, which is pretty good. GPRS go into there and then let's have a look see if we can edit this power let's have a look at the old settings orange internet boom back in the day look at that you have to put all the DNS details in look I've, I've even used uh, Google's DNS that's quite interesting anyway so this used to stream along the GPRS 2G speeds um, and you can go MMS for your picture messages Whoa, even though you have to plug in a camera but hey um, the screen by the way uh, you can see here the screen is about five and a half miles from the actual front panel. Um, and you can see how thick the phone is. The screen was miles away from the, uh, the, the actual frontage here. This here, what I'm touching, isn't the screen. The screen's so far behind uh, the actual uh, front um, piece of plastic perspex here that it's, uh, it's, it, it is quite strange looking back at it now. Uh, this is how cool smartphones sort of started. If we go into sounds and wait for it to kind of get into there see now the original sounds that came with the phone were kind of dull i sounded like this boring very dull wow so they were a bit dull and we we kind of created uh or made available ringtones that were a specific wav format if i remember it was a certain bit rate you had to set it to and you had things like this See, back in the day, guys, that was amazing. That was so advanced. Um, so, yeah, they've got things like that. And then we had this. Look at that, eh? See, it's better than this. So that's why people started coming to the site. You can set your email alert. You can, you can, I mean, you can have email. It was a bit slow and it downloaded everything. Uh, via the GPRS, but you could have it. New text message sounds. These was all amazing for the day. You know, you can have different sounds for different certain things within the operating system. It's just shocking. Um, so, like here, you get a message for alarm clock, uh, message for uh, a, a different sound rather for alarm clock, different sound for a voice message. Brilliant stuff, and you can play and delete sounds and edit them. You even had if you unlocked it, and I will try and find it on this one here. Uh, this is going back. Look, so you got inbox, so you can see your email, contacts. I've still got my contacts on here. I won't go through them, but uh, 
calendar. It's all very Microsofty. Something called Internet Explorer, which was painful on GPRS. Uh, you can see photos. You can, look, what? I've got no camera at all. There is no camera. If I click on camera, let's uh, take a photo. It goes. You gotta plug in the camera. It's not there. Uh, that was just well. You had to plug in a camera back in the day, guys. Uh, so let's go back. Active Sync, which was oh, a love hate relationship we had with that. You call history, which is again amazing. Uh, MSN Messenger, remember that? Um, go into the settings, I've just shown you that. Sim Manager, Smart Explorer, which is a file explorer. Look at this, it's loading, it's still loading. It's a cab file you had to put in. And uh, look, you could actually look around your file system again. This was pretty cool. Yeah, see, Mappy, there's all the email, go to my documents, and then Here's your sounds had to be put into a certain folder for the ringtones to work. And your pictures are in my pictures. They're all very sort of um, obvious when you think about it. It was a very Microsoft uh, operating system um, layout. And it made sense to me back in the day, which is why I started writing about this particular phone. Windows Media. Let's see, uh, let's see what's on here, actually. It takes a while to load up. I mean, bear in mind, this is a very slow processor. But back in the day, you were... You know, you didn't really have a problem waiting this long. On the orange version of this, there was um, a, a Chemical Brothers um, video. Look at this here. This. Oh, come on. Come on. Let's play that again because you missed the amazing video. Are you ready? This was shocking to have a, an actual. Look. Wow. Back in the day, that was another level, guys. Anyway, um, that's a little overview of the uh, the GUI. And look, if you're looking games, check out the games. Oh, yeah. Lemonade Slurp Solitaire. You want to play a bit of Solitaire? Well, I'm going to play a bit of Solitaire, guys. But, um, I'm not doing very well. Um, but.